What's up enthusiasts? You may notice it's Wednesday and this isn't a workbench. Uh, two of my cameras are broken. My Sony RX100 that I've been using a lot and it's been my go-to camera. Uh, I knocked it over while filming a This Week in Nerf episode and the lens cover isn't closing all the way so I sent it back for repair and then as soon as I did that my webcam decided to break so I don't really have a good way to film the overhead view so I was trying to figure out what to do for workbench Wednesday since we don't really have access to the workbench angle and I thought let's um let's talk about this this has been sitting up over here in the corner for a long time and we got the first coat on of paint and then I stopped. And I stopped because, well, I wasn't sure where to go with it, what I wanted to do exactly and, and all of that. So it just kind of been sitting up here waiting for me to figure out what it is I wanted to do. And I want this to be really, really nice because uh, Michelle over at Foam Blast was super kind and actually did the internals for me. I have the internals sitting here all wired up. I just have to do a little bit of minor shell adjustments on the inside and uh, put everything in. And that was so nice to me. It was like, I don't want to, I don't want it to look bad. I want it to look really good and be an awesome blaster once it's finished. So I've been waiting on it because there's a lot going on in this shell. There really, really is. And the more I tried to break things down it became overly complicated in terms of like how I wanted to do everything and what I wanted to do and how to break the color up and everything and so I thought maybe let's just kind of talk through it I guess and kind of some of the ideas I have um, for this shell and it's been so long, I actually don't remember. I, I actually got to a point where I, I said, yes, this is, I know exactly what I want. And I started to mask off, I <laughs> put two pieces of tape on, and then went, mm, no, no, that's not what I want. I don't, I don't want that anymore. That's not right. Uh, so yeah, trying, to, trying to, to, to figure things back out. But one thing I do know is that there's like this coil barrel kind of thing going on here and I want this to be like a like a power coil or something like that something uh, something energy-esque almost so I'm thinking it's gonna be white or blue this will be white or blue since we are gonna go with the fabu color scheme of the uh, pink blue and white um, I think it's gonna be blue or white right here in this this faux barrel kind of shroud area so that gives us an idea of if we want to go with blue or white, that means the surrounding areas need to not be blue or white. Otherwise, it's not going to visually make as much sense. So we're going to stick, we'll say, do we want to go white with this? Or would blue be, but white's probably the best idea. White's probably the best idea for this, this barrel shroud thing. So I'm trying to get at the right angle where the light is not making the pink all white and blown out. Uh, so we'll do this area white for like a power barrel type thing. So that means the surrounding colors, we need to find our blue and pink. What's going to be blue and what's going to be pink. And uh, I know one of the things I wanted was there's this little kind of under shroud. Like it's layered. You have like the, the faux Picatinny right here on top, the texturing. And then you have this shroud that matches like this piece down here that I think we want to do these two pieces in the same color and then this over kind of thing in a different color. So I'm thinking if we go white here, blue is probably a better contrast to that, to that white. So maybe we go with blue for this portion and then pink for this top and bottom to give that some contrast. But then we run into the problem of this piece right here, which is like the, the, the bulky kind of boxy area. If we've already got blue going on right here and pink covering here, we can't make this white. Do we go with blue as well for this and just have the blue run in from here? 
and have that be the option? Or do we go for a... Do we go for something else potentially and add some metallics in? And maybe do this box area in a metallic and maybe match that with this like little box over here. That, that could be an option. That would also, we'd probably mimic that on the side here, the other side with the little box here and the box here that ends up being the jam door. Um, that could work. That might work. Oh, that's a, that's a lot of flat space for a metallic. And I don't know that I like that. I don't know that I like that flat space all being metallic. Um, so we've got white, blue, pink. As we fall back further into the shell, we start hitting areas of a lot of open space. And I, I'm not necessarily opposed to that. Like this whole bottom kind of receiver thing down here, that's a lot of open space. And if that's all one color, like we have a, we have a depth change right here that I'm, I'm questioning maybe I shift the color here to white again, since once we're back here, we're further away from this like power coil thing we were talking about. Um, so do the back half of this in white. And I know this like little thing here, it's got like a little bit of venting almost it looks like. I think that's gonna be white as well. And then we have a raised section right next to the venting that maybe we do that in blue. But then we have the question of this area here that falls in. See, there's so many just different recesses and height changes and, and, and just different little nooks and crannies in this blaster that whenever I think I've got the right idea, it, uh, something else pops up and I go, oh, no, that's not, that's probably not right. That's probably not right. And that drives me crazy when I'm working on this because I want it to be nice and just, just good and clean looking. So if we go, if we're breaking this up, we have white and then we have blue under it. And then pink here, this is already going to be blue. So blue to blue into pink with this raised section being blue right here. That could work. So we go white, blue, pink, blue. That might work. Okay, we might be onto something here. Hmm. It's really, this just kind of gives you, gives you all an idea of how things go in my head when I'm trying to figure something. I'm just, I, I sit and I just kind of stare at the blaster and like try and break things down in my head of what, what could work, what won't work. Um, you know, with a lot of flat spaces, Especially, like I said, I kind of wanted to bring a metallic in here, but if I bring the metallic in, that's a lot of flat space that it may not look good. It may not look good. I don't know. Maybe we'll try it, but I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. Uh, let me know what all of you think in the comments about kind of the line of thought that I was, the way I was breaking things down in this video of uh, some of the ideas. Or if you have an idea that maybe I haven't thought of, uh, let me know. I just want this to be the best that it can be since, uh, since Michelle was so kind as to to the internals for me, which is so amazingly considerate. I just like, I want it to come out really, really nice. So we're going to, this is our, this is our next project. We're going to finish this. Uh, after that, we're, we're going to go back to the Fabu Strife, but we got to get the Fabulous Chaos done first because it's been sitting for too long. Um, so yeah, let me, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Hopefully, uh, next week I'll have either a new webcam or my other camera back. I don't think it'll be back that quickly. And we'll be able to be back to the regular 
Workbench Wednesday format. But thank you for sticking with me through this as I kind of share some of my, my uh, imperfect thought process when it comes to this blaster. But let me know what your thoughts, your ideas, comments. Uh, leave, them in, leave, leave them down below. I love reading all of them and uh, definitely look forward to it. If you're new to this channel and this is your first video and you enjoyed it, feel free to hit the subscribe button for more in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.